So, Namaskar. Namaskar. Thank you for being with us here in Essen, in Germany, with the World Meditates. I collected some questions which could be interesting for the people seeing this, so maybe we can quick go through it, so sure. we cannot, uh, we should not take much time of you. Sure, Th thank you, all the best. Thank you. So, many people who are very critical are very important, like, uh, to connect to also. So, one of the questions that they always have is, if there is God, why there is suffering? See, suffering is not connected with the gods. God is a universal truth. Uh, you are the format, you are being created by the gods. So we are created with the union of matter and energy. So matter and energy, if unbalanced, there is a suffering. Mm. Matter and energy, if balanced, there is no suffering. So this is depend on human beings. Mm. We all kind of life in this world eh, that we are responsible for pain and the suffering mm. because we have become a mind. Mm. A mind is a suffering. But if you are a consciousness, there is no suffering. Mm. So live with the consciousness and to become a mind, to live in this world, that makes different all the humanities. Mm. Because all the humanities have become slave of the minds. Mm. Because they think that mind is very powerful. Western philosophy, European philosophy is the mind philosophy. Mm. All the books are written as a philosophy is the mind. All the science invention has come as a mind. So we think mind is very powerful. Of course, mind is very powerful, mm. but mind is not the truth. Mm. Mind has created, as the world has crea been created beautiful, mm. like that mind has been created beautiful, so you can change the mind, you can transfer the mind, you can be with the mind, you can go beyond the mind. Mm. So we have to learn to living in the world with the mind, living in the world with the pain and the so sorrow, mm. and going beyond that, because we are not just a world. <laughs> So, suffering is actually an option for the human beings, right? Sacri suffering is created by human beings. Okay. The, there is a love, <coughs> but there is a hate also. Yeah. But you are falling in the loves, and you are start disliking because it is not your choice. Mm. So we start pretending that pretending is a suffering. If you are not pretending living a true life, there is no suffering. So whatever you got that has been given for the peace, love and the harmony, nothing has been created in this world as a poison. Mm. Poisons are the medicines mm. to heal the, your mind, heal your body. But if we have made poison as a suffering and dying. So there is no there is no society in the world. You have been created by the love. Mm. Nobody is born like with the hate. All has born with the loves. But why hate has come, why dislike has come, what not happiness has come, because it is our mind. You are staying with the mind, you are playing with the mind, and mind is making us to go through the suffering, hell and sorrow. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, and for the people who don't know you now, could you just uh, tell us something about your tradition? See, we are human beings, born as a human beings and we are born to live in this world. That world has a traditions that we can only born through the mother and fathers. Either we can born by the blessing of the natures, like a Christ was born by the blessing of the natures. But the system for world is organization, management. So whole world is organized but we, on the name of the religions, on the name of the politics, on the name of the management of the anything. Music has organized, the society has organized, the company has organized, everything is organized. Because your mind is an organization. Mind has done everything with the senses, within the sen indriya, to organize and do the well. Same way, we are born to do something in the world. Mm. So it is not necessary the whole world knows to us, mm. but it is necessary what we can do for the world. It is not necessary that I should tell you that I am doing for you, but it is necessary that what I am doing for you. So we are part of this world. We are born to help each other. Mm. And let not happen anything to make you suffer. So we are like that. I came from this India 
a good place I came. I lived a good life, adventure life. And suddenly my thoughts are changed. I was transferred by the monks, a great monk of the Himalaya, his name was Hari Baba. He belongs to the sect that is called Sanatan. Sanatan. Immortal religions. So I am part of that one. But my work is working for the world peace. I do practice in the Himalaya for a long time to realize that what is the truth, what is lying within us, what we can do for yourself, for others. Not to be pretended, not to be copying, not to be acting as an artificial life. Mm. How to come to the truth, but truth is within, within us. Mm. There is a truth everywhere, but that truth is told by the people, arranged by the people, but this truth is realized. Mm. To realize the truth, you have to come back to yourself. Yeah. Your body is a mechanism. Your body has a four power inside. We say man, buddhi, chit, ahankar. Man means mind, buddhi means intellectuals, chit means conscious, ahankar means ego, food, things in inner mechanism. This can take you outside and this can make take you inside. <coughs> so this is within the body. Body is controlled by the senses. Senses are ruled by the mind. And mind is given a power by the consciousness. So overall you are the consciousness. Everything has been given to you. To how to use the mind, how to use the senses, to come into the world, to create a beautiful field to live in this world. If I want to become a great musician, I can become. If I want to become a great doctor, I can become. If I want to become a great philosopher, I can become. If I want to become a great pilot, I can become. Whatever I want, I can become because it's a dimension of the mind. Our mind is very powerful and it has multi-dimension. It can go anywhere, it can do anywhere if you try. But great to be great in within yourself, that has to be, we have come to know that no mind is greatness. Mind is living in the world and no mind is becoming yourself who you are. So let us you have to try to make mind not mind silence, creating a silence within yourself. So that will make you to feel that I am not separate than anybody. I am the universe, I am the existence, I am with the gods. And God is living in everybody. He is the Rama, He is Krishna, He is the Buddha, He is Jesus, He is Moses, He is you, He is me, he is, everybody is here. So there is no difference between Him, Him, Him and you and me. Mm. So this becomes when you become a consciousness. But if you are a mind, then you become separate. Go, oh, Jesus is a Christian, Rama is a Hindu, Allah is a Muhammad is a this thing we have created, mm. this has become a sect. And this has made us to struggle and suffer in the world, mm. fighting for the religion, fighting for the sex. That, that has disturbed the, all the humanities. Because we want to slave the mind of the people. Mm. We want to hypnotize the mind of people through the system. Mm. That is organization of sect. And you want to rule over. So, our duty to free these people, yeah. let them feel that you are not born slave mm. and you should not die slave, you should fight for the liberation. Not liberation from the country, liberation from the society, from the sick, liberation from yourself. Mm. Because you are the slave of the mind, mm. a mind is a world, mind is a religion, mind is science, mm. mind is a way which we are hypnotized to the system that is a mind. Mm. So drop the mind, live with the mind, but drop the mind. Mm do any types of techniques, do any types of prayers, mm -hmm. that is your mind work. But go beyond that. So is there, this is one uh, other question and uh, beautifully we have arrived to this point. Many people asked like, when dropping the mind is the solution, what is the most effective way of dropping the mind or what would Babaji recommend? which is the best way to drop the mind. Yes, we say you experience the mind. Because mind is evolved. Mind is your full fill of desires. To develop the mind, explore the mind, and illuminate the mind, and then enlighten the mind. Mm. Mind will tell that I can do anything for you, but I am the lot last. So you have to eliminate, bring into the light, and that light will tell that there is something beyond that. There is way. To reach to the mind, you have to be very cooperative, friendly to the mind. Mm. 
not fighting against the mind. So mind is not a free identity. Mind is working with the management. So mind is one in the, your consciousness, but they have no their energy to work. Your senses cannot work. You cannot hear, you cannot listen, you cannot watch, you cannot feel harmony, pain and sorrow because you have no power. Mm. So they don't have their own power. The power has come from somewhere. Mm. So that power is, we say, we say prana. We have a five prana, prana, apana, samana, udana, bhyana. These are the fire energy which can transfer the energy, any kind of energy in the world, in any level, physical, external, cosmic, has been transferred by the fire. Mm. So what modern science today has found out all the power, atomic, nuclear, all this is the energy of the fire, a certain type of fire, mm. which is hidden inside everything. So this type five prana has a hidden energy, transferring the power of a physical body, a still body, cosmic body. Mm. It can explore the worlds, it can destroy the worlds. So prana gives the power to the mind, and mind then gives the power to the, all the senses. Mm. So you have to, through the prana, you can control it. There is a system of exhale and inhale. There is a system of retaining. Which way exhale, which way inhale. Naturally, you are inhaling and exhaling. This is nature. Mm. nature. But how to go beyond that, how much power you can control that breathing mm. to retain in one place. Mm. There, are, there are different uh, energies in our body. And uh, while talking to several of uh, my friends who are interested in those subjects, we arrive to the point that they ask like there are some things inside us human beings that are very very hard to control and the main main thing for them was the sex, sexual energy in the in the human body can you talk on which role does it really play and really uh, we are importance? born we say we are born through the sex that is say entertainment but the actual language is the love love is the attraction the gravitation the every matter, every planet, every human being has a power of gravity, mm. which attract and distract. It attract to pull you, it distract to pull by. Mm. So this is the love. This is a magnetic power in everybody. But this comes through the witch personalities. Mm. So we are the energy. Everything in the world, energy, your body is energy, your senses are energy, your mind is energy, consciousness is energy, even the God is energy. The universe, everything is energy. It is the energy of material world, it is energy of chemical worlds, it is the energy of gas worlds. Mm. So through that we have been made. And that has made to make union, attract to somebody and make union. So that union become a sex. Mm. So that make you excitement, ecstasy and emotions. And through excitement, ecstasy and emotion, harmonizing a body and mind comes. So these are your power of the mind. Mm. As I told you, mind can be controlled by prana. Mm. How to detain the prana? Mm. How to not your energy let flow? How to not energy let your excite emotion and drive? It can be controlled by your willpower, your thought power, apranayama. Mm. Thoughts we have, a human being has a very powerful thought. Thought, thought can destroy you. Mm. Thought can create a beautiful thing. If you know how to use the thought, we say in the way, it is called power of sankalpa. sankalpa. If you know how to con implement the power of sankalpa, you can do anything in this world. You can go behind the sex, mm. you can invent the sex, you can destroy the sexual power, mm. and you can use for your powers. It is possible. But Human beings are slave of the mind. Mm -hmm. Human beings are slave of the pretending love, mm -hmm. not real love. Mm -hmm. They are pretending to be loved, they are acting to be loved. So they are attracted, impressed, because mind is managing. If you can control the mind, then management power mind is gone, mm -hmm. then you are yourself. Mm -hmm. so if you know that, key, I have a power because I am the consciousness. My mind has a power, my senses have a power, my organ has a power because I am existing within the bodies. Mm -hmm. What is gone out of the body, the power is gone. Mm -hmm. So, so, so con it. controlling the mind means that uh, when, when you're able, capable of uh, getting into controlling the mind, then even the sexual need becomes visible that is actually because of the sensation of... My